what's going on guys hello Mazi here and this evening i'm going to talk to you all or want to talk to you all a little bit about the destruction nerfs that came in today this afternoon and then the additional nerfs that came in this evening to destruction we got a couple of them uh, all focused around the large reign of chaos four piece tier set inferno build in mythic plus now i was a bit curious if blizzard was going to like address this build before the mdi or just wait until afterwards because time trials have been done teams have been working with an Estro lock but i suppose they just decided to address it now uh we talked a bit about it in previous videos even in alpha and beta or in ptr i should say that i didn't think destro needed an aura buff it, i told them I, I said i i said they should not do it because the aoe is already wild it needed like a chaos bolt or a incinerate or a havoc buff Something along those lines, but then the, then they just ended up ripping a 5% aura buff, and, you know, here we are. But honestly, I think we probably would have been here regardless, even without the 5% aura buff. So, today, I want to talk to you all a little bit about that, other ways we could have approached it, and really is what it means for Destro going forward into patch 9.2 and Season 3 of Mythic Plus. Now, any weak auras or add-ons profiles you see here you want to grab, all my Twitch uh, down below here, link somewhere. Feel free to swing by, grab them, hang out, ask any questions anytime. Yeah, feel free to do so. Before we get into it, one big shout out to all my patrons. Once again, thank you guys a million times for all support. Really appreciate it. If you're looking at supporting on Patreon, there should be a link somewhere up here, as well as down in the video description below. So with that being said, let's get into it. Alrighty, so jumping right into the tuning today. Now, there were two posts. For, one had both Destro and Survival in it, and then there was an update to Destro because uh, the first change they put out didn't actually make any difference to Destro whatsoever. So, okay, just starting it off here, Destro Inferno, this is part of the first nerf, but they updated it. Now has a reduced chance for Reign of Fire to generate Soul Shard Fragments when it deals damage beyond five targets. Now this number right here was initially eight. So they were trying to work in sort of like something along the lines of like a target cap for resource generation, and they still did. But in the second change, which is here, you can see they lowered it later on. I think what, like four hours later? I don't know, something like that. Who cares? Later on in the day to five targets from eight targets so it's blatantly obvious that they realize the shard generation is probably the biggest issue i guess egregious issue that destro has right now it's the shard gen makes the spec work right for destruction we're focusing on the synergy between inferno and reign of fire that leads to a dramatic increase in damage with target count due to resource generation and we've talked about this on stream right when you have you know three four five targets you still get a lot of shard generation right but when you have the seven eight ten twelve twenty the huge pulls you're just permanently sitting at five shards and all you're casting is reign of fire back to back to back to back to back and it really never ends even looking at the actual prototype pantheon kill from a few weeks ago we talked about in a video that's four targets that four targets still hasn't been affected by the way and it's just permanent rain of fire spam over and over and over and over and over and that's sort of been the issue i don't say issue but that was sort of the issue with inferno and reign of chaos and wilfrids and everything back in alpha of shadowlands they ended up they nerfed wilfrids i think they nerfed rain of rain of chaos's proc chance and duration and i know they nerfed inferno at some point it might have been a 9.0 or 9.1 or Reign of Fire, something got nerfed that was also part of this spec later on. But the interesting part about this change, I guess we can read this first. After further investigation, we're revisiting our adjustment to Destro Warlock and lowering Inferno's target threshold to five. We're finding that the synergy is still outperforming at eight targets due to the resource generation, and by adjusting this, we avoid having to make changes that could affect Destro's lower target count output. Sure. So the wording here on this nerf is very odd, by the way. So initially when I read it in the middle of my hectic day today, I said, all right, they're making it, you know, you'll, you'll generate full, you know, shard fragments like you were with Inferno uh, when this change was eight at eight targets still. And you generate less or have a lesser chance when you're hitting a ninth target or a 10th target. And then when they made the change to five, okay, you're still going to generate the full amount of shards with Inferno and Rain of Fire when you're hitting five targets. And then when you hit six, seven, eight, those, you know, one, two, three extra will give a lesser chance to generate to, to generate shards. But then I read it again, and I actually have no idea what they're doing. So it could be nothing really changed, and Destro is still pretty wild in AoE. Or it could be that, so if you hit, let's say, six targets with a Reign of Fire, it could be you have, like I said, five targets getting hit by the, how do I word this? The five targets, five out of six targets that are getting hit by the Reign of Fire with Inferno Talented are going to give you that 20% chance to generate a Soul Shard Fragment. And that sixth one might give you 10%, 5%, who knows. Or the change could literally be, if you hit six targets, 
all six targets give you a reduced chance to generate a Soul Shredder Fragment. We actually don't know. And this is like really odd wording from Blizzard. And it scares me a bit more here too when it says we're revisiting our adjustment and lowering the Inferno's target threshold to five. That sort of makes me think along the lines of the latter example that I gave where if you hit six targets, they're all getting a lesser chance for Inferno to generate shards. Now, we're going to take a look at a little, a little bit later in this video about how Destro Shard Gen looks with four targets still. It's still pretty good with this build. But I don't know which route they've ended up going. I mean, honestly, we won't know until Tuesday when, you know, the maintenance comes in. So we'll find out then on stream. But yeah, so there were a couple ways that Blizzard could have gone about this nerf, this change. Now, before everybody loses their mind because, yeah, Destro was nerfed, we knew that this might be coming. Destro's AoE is very wild in sustained heavy AoE settings. And yes, other classes in the past have had large AoE profiles. Windwalker Monk comes to mind, or at least most of chat's mind when it was mentioned. But honestly, I don't think Windwalker was even this good. It's very, very excessive. And the fact of the matter is you can build your own Infernal with a four set proc even without your player on Infernal and have like almost the same value from one pack to the next. The actual build is still very strong and still could be exceptionally strong at aoe but not to the point where it's utterly broken we don't really know we got to see what happens on you know tuesday but i think the inferno nerf is very very good and actually a very smart decision by blizzard you know which is a polar opposite of buffing the spec by five percent but regardless uh, i'm just half memeing but i mentioned like i said in ptr videos don't buff Destro with an aura buff buff chaos bolt buff something but here we are so either way, number one, they could have reverted the aura buff, which I didn't think they would do because number one, it's like Blizzard sort of saying, hey, we made, we made a mistake. And number two, the aura buff did sort of address some issues that Destro had with single target and cleave, albeit the build with Soul Conduit was actually better than we thought it was when the tier set was changed, but that's something in itself. So the, the other things you could have done, number one is they could have just straight up nerfed the four set. They could have made it the two and four set. They could have made it every 12 shards, every 14, every 16, every X amount larger than 10 gives you an infernal. For eight seconds, six seconds, four seconds, they could have removed the reign of chaos part on the infernal, but I'm very happy they didn't touch the tier set because the tier set, it feels bad having your tier set nerfed after you acquire it. And I think Blizzard actively tries to avoid that, or at least was trying to avoid that with this change. So nod to them for that. That's very good. Number two, they could have just straight up nerfed Reign of Fire, people were saying. But the thing with this build, I don't know what damage is this. This is not a current profile. But so the thing with this build is that like in heavy AOE, we'll look at it in a minute here. It's not just Reign of Fire that makes up your damage, the portion of your damage, right? Now, depending on the pack and how large it is, how many mobs are in it, it'll vary a bit. Reign of Fire typically is your highest damaging spell, but it's not like 90%. For me, like on average polls, I think it's like Rain of Fire is 35%. Immolation Aura from my main Infernal is like 20. And then we have the Blast for me, Immolation Aura, which is like 9%. And then we have the Blast from its existence, the chaining of the four piece proc, which is like 5%. And it just sort of maintains that general line of this is like AOE is like what, what you're, how do I word this? There's not one spell they could nerf, like Rain of Fire, I think in a good way. Because, like I said, the AoE is made up by multiple things. Reign of Fire, your player around the Infernal, your four-piece, your four-piece bringing Reign of Chaos with it, your four-piece proccing multiple times, giving you Blasphemous Existence, the big purple AoE Infernal's, you know, AoE, uh, Infernal Awakening, the AoE from it. So I'm glad they didn't nerf the four set. I'm glad they didn't nerf Reign of Fire. They could have also nerfed Reign of Chaos, maybe like reducing the actual uh, duration of it here, that the four piece gives or giving you like a smaller chance to summon an infernal based on your soul shard spent because this build does d dump a lot of soul shards and like i said you can just straight up carry a four piece proc without your main infernal into a heavy aoe pack and you almost have the exact same thing yeah you don't have your main infernal but you can still put out hundreds of thousands of damage and if it's a high enough key you typically have your infernal every single pack anyways if it's mass aoe so i'm glad they didn't hit reign of chaos or soul conduit to a similar extent and honestly, they could have hit Wilfred's as well. They hit Wilfred's, I don't even know where it's at. Here we go. They hit Wilfred's during beta of Shadowlands. I think it was two seconds, I'm pretty sure, per shard spent. And this build was the culprit for the most part because you'd have so many Infernals, like a minute, minute and a half. I had a 45 second Infernal in a tier side a couple of days ago, right? That might be a bit excessive, but it didn't hit 
the like larger pieces of this build. They hit Inferno, but Inferno, and while it's a larger piece, they didn't compl completely gut it, right? But by hitting Inferno, they made it so that they hit the charge end of it. So stay with me here. Less charge end theoretically means less four piece procs. Less four piece procs means theoretically a lower rate of chaos uptime, which means, you know, theoretically less soul conduit refunds, which means theoretically less, I guess, less time shaved off your infernal, which also less shards means less rain of fire spam. And it's, it's one big just loop of synergy. I might even be leaving something out there, honestly, but a uh, higher or I guess lesser overall random chaos uptime. By nerfing the shard gen from Inferno, they've theoretically nerfed every aspect of this build by a small margin, but not enough where it's like, oh, this, this build's gutted. So like, I think the targeted Inferno nerf is a very, very good change from them. Once again, it will depend a bit on the wording. Right. If it's like, you know, six targets, everyone's giving you less shard gen or if it's, you know, six targets, five are giving you the same and one is giving you less. But either way, even if it was like a, a setting where, you you know, if you're hitting six targets, they all give less shard gen. I would assume Blizzard probably still averages it or averages it out, whether it's six, seven, eight, nine targets around that five target threshold. Typically, I feel like with nerfs in the past or changes like this in the past, they've done a pretty good job at like, you know, I guess averaging leveling that out, you know, to where the shard gen still feels decent, still feels good, or the resource generation still feels good, right? So I'm assuming that like in mass AOE, if that is the change, you're probably going to still feel about the same shard generation wise as you would in five targets, which if you guys have hit dummies with Destro in I, even in Dazar lore at the four target dummies, uh, it's still pretty strong. So to wrap this all up, hopefully not too long of a video here, Let's take a look at Destro's AOB currently, but only hitting four targets, which theoretically, you know, is what it would look like on four targets post nerf on Tuesday. Alrighty, so we're back home in Dazar lore. I'm playing Dreamweaver with Destro conduits. Uh, I need to change to Inferno here. Actually, I don't because we haven't. So this is like the normal AOB build that we're seeing in keys for Destro, right? Now, yes, the, the nerf is not in yet, but the nerf will, as long as it... I mean, honestly, even regardless regardless of the wording, whether it's like, you know, the six targets, five giving full shard gen and one giving like a partial amount or all six giving partial amounts, amounts this should still be what Destro AOE, as long as I'm interpreting it all right, looks come Tuesday in reset. And for what it's worth, I haven't done this. Like I haven't pulled it. I actually don't know how it's going to look. Uh, we're going to figure it out. So uh, yeah, let's just, I guess, uh, hide this. I'm not even going to lust. Hide this, I guess. I guess let's just... Uh Start immolating and go in. Once again, this is four targets, and keep in mind, one more time, the actual cap that they've put in, whatever, is uh, five, essentially. Like, the resource cap, however you want to word it, right? So there's three rains, four, there's your Inferno proc, five, throw a conflict rate in here, six, you gotta throw an incinerate in, seven, there's your other proc, eight, nine, ten, my immolates are falling, refresh one, eleven, twelve, thirteen, refresh an immolate, fourteen, 15, we're at 50k now in four targets. 16, I'm over shard capping. 17, 18, conflict rate. 19, 20, 21, there's my other proc. 22, let's try and chain this 23, 24 and see how short my infernal is in four targets. Now, uh, by the way, don't complain that this is going to get nerfed because, hey, you know, this is like the second nerf they put out, right? So they're not going to nerf it a third time, right? All right. I don't know how many I've cast now. Uh, I've been in combat for less than a minute, 55 seconds right here. My Infernal is up. Uh, let's see. It is up pretty much, uh, well, now with my four piece proc and my solar rot. Now I'm gonna have a lot of shards here if I target the right dummy. And uh, yeah, we're just going. So there's your one minute in combat Infernal in four target cleave. Uh, yeah, not a lot really changes, you know? So, I mean, once again, you might not have the permanent shard cap at, I don't know, eight, nine, 10 targets. But for the most part, I was pretty much capped here. I had to throw in an extra conflict rate. I, I spread an extra immolate, give or take. Dude, like, I mean, I, I don't think you're crazy about changes with this build, right? Like, but I do think that it's probably have been brought down a bit in the insane 800 target pulls you're gonna see in the MDI and things. We'll see where it goes long-term, right? Like I said, and this is why I think the actual uh, Inferno nerf is good. It's see how rain of fire 35% emulation aura from my Inferno. This is my player bound Inferno here is 26%, 27. Uh, the blasphemy, this is our four piece proc is 12 and a half percent. Blasphemous existence. This is the actual like 
when you have a, a four piece proc, the purple infernal active, and you cast another proc, it doesn't it doesn't summon a second one. It just pulses like an AOE. So this is that, right? So you have like soul rots, whatever, but you have like four ish different abilities, three, four, five, however you want to look at it. I guess four that make up the majority of this build damage wise. I guess three really: rain of fire, emulation from your infernal, and emulation from your blast from me. But in massive AOE, the shard generation nerf to inferno is a nerf to rain of fire. Less rain of fire is cast. Immolation aura, in a sense, because you're not going to be casting your Infernal, theoretically, as much with the shard you're going to be losing. Uh, a nerf for this, because less shard gen, theoretically, means less four-piece procs, so less blasphemy uptime. Uh, and to a similar extent, less blasphemous existence, uh, I guess, damage, because you're not casting your four-piece as much. So, I think the Inferno nerf is good. It's the best nerf Blizzard could have done. Hats off to them. It truly is, like... Uh, great without gutting emulation aura or ran a fire or anything the build is still there it won't be as strong and massive massive aoe there might be times where yeah okay you know you have to cast an incinerate or two when you have when you have all your emulates up or a conflict rate you might not be spamming ran a fire permanently but then again they capped it at five targets and uh this is four so we'll see where it goes you know over the next few weeks once again the mdi is around the corner i doubt they want to completely gut the build before the mdi so we'll see where it goes tuesday We'll be streaming it, and we'll, uh, we'll figure out how the AOE feels. It is fortified next week, too, which makes it you know, even better. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video helped you all understand a bit more, maybe, about the Inferno Destro massive AOE nerf today that, well, you know, came out twice, uh, from eight targets to five targets. Now, the good thing also is that they didn't actually, like, AOE cap Immolation Aura or Ran of Fire. They're trying to go about it, once again, through the Inferno changes, which is Shard Generation, which, once again makes it so that every ability you're casting, you cast a bit less frequently, which means that they did nerf the build overall, but not to the point where one spell is just dead and you're back to playing Cataclysm or whatever. Inferno is still a very solid spell with this build. The four piece is still very strong, still brings Reign of Chaos, Soul Conduit is still strong. It's still a good solid build overall when it comes to Mythic Plus and especially heavy AOE. So let me know down below in the comment section, guys, what you think about these nerfs. I'm happy, I, I wouldn't say, I'm content with them. I, I'm happy that Blizzard identified the actual culprit of the of the build for the most part, which I feel is mostly Inferno, and it's taking steps to address that. Not just, you know, blanket nerfing the spec or just gutting Reign of Fire or the four piece, because the four piece is really good. It feels great. You know, the, the Warlock community as a whole almost designed that on the forums after the two initial two piece and four piece came out. And the build feels good. I like it. Destro is still solid. And really no real changes when it comes to rating maybe a tiny bit on some of the heavy AOE parses you've seen like on the Hooverman things but for the most part the build's still there the build's still solid and once again any weak auras or profiles you've seen here anything like that all indeed available to you guys from my twitch if you want to swing by and grab it link down below hang out asking questions anytime feel free to do so i stream five to six days a week and one more time i also want to give one huge shout out to my patrons thank you guys for all support a million times really appreciate it if you're looking at supporting on patreon it should be linked up here as well as down in the video description below and while you're down there hit that like and sub button it helps out a ton thanks for watching dudes and i'll catch you all again soon on stream peace